And now, in studio, bringing his Midwest values from the show me state to the land of San Diego. He's a triple threat, licensed as an attorney, mortgage broker, and a top producing realtor who's crushing the competition. Here to deliver you what's happening in the trenches of the market, your host, Michael Gaddis. Welcome back to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of Michael Gaddis Realty Group and MichaelGaddis.com. I'm here today to talk a little bit about short sales. Now, for those of you who might be tuning in who are not necessarily aware of who I am or what my background is, I'm going to tell you. I am a real estate broker, a licensed California attorney, an NMLS licensed mortgage broker, as well as your weekly radio host. Why is that important? Well, because I specialize in distressed housing and I have abilities and I have experience and knowledge that a lot of people do not have. So, uh, you know, I think that, you know, when it comes to this type of issue, if you're sitting there thinking, well, I can't make my mortgage payments anymore, or we've tried to get a loan modification like 25 times and we've been denied every single time, if you're stressed out about what to do and you don't and you're, you're just lost that is my world that is what I deal with every single day I help people analyze in my legal practice I help people with distress housing I try to help them get loan modifications with the bank you know negotiate need and lose things like that and in my real estate practice you know a part of it is dedicated to helping people short sell their homes now the decision to short sell your home is not necessarily the first thing that, that, we, that we look at when someone calls my office. When somebody calls my office, the first thing I try to do is see if there's any way to save their home. That's, that's my number one goal. And part of that it, analysis is one, there's a waterfall. They call it a waterfall. What happens first, then second, then third, then fourth? The first thing that I typically do is I look to see if you can refinance. Now most of the people who call me, either their house is underwater or close to it, um, they've missed many, many payments. I can eliminate most people from a refinance option pretty quickly. Now there are still some that call me current um, and I try to first analyze to see if there's any way to do that because if I can find a way to refinance you, that's definitely a better option than going to the loan mod option, which is the next option. So. If I cannot find a, a way to refinance you, then I consider, you know, I kind of uh, send you through a, uh, um, a loan modification scenario. So I go through and analyze you to see, based upon my knowledge and experience, if, you know, what your odds and, of are obtaining a, a loan modification. Now, here's the deal with loan modifications. You have to, there's, there's the difference between possibility and probability. Is it possible for you to get a loan mod? Maybe yes. What is the probability of it? For me, the probability has to be 60% or higher for me to even consider doing it at my office. It just is so labor intensive and it is so exhausting that for me, when I look at your, your, the entire, your entire situation, I have to determine in my eyes that you have at least a 60% probability of success. I cannot chase leprechauns and unicorns. It might be possible, but I, if it's not probable, I can't do it and it's just too much work I mean you guys have no idea how much work they are so what I'll do is I'll analyze people to see if there's any way whatsoever that we can save their house and if we can great we go down that avenue if not then we, we kind of come to the short sale analysis now one of the things now people don't like to hear about short sales they're like well I don't want to have to short sell my house you know I want I love the house and, and and I have to sometimes talk to them and say hey look how much stress is this house putting on you? What, what is it doing to your life? And you'd be amazed at what the stress of being in this situation does to people. I mean, it affects their health, it affects their relationships, it affects their work, it affects everything in their lives. They never know when the next shoe's gonna drop, whether somebody's gonna knock on their door with a foreclosure notice. They are just, they're living in a world that most of you can never ever imagine and hopefully never will. So, you know, it's very, but they're so emotionally attached to this house or their house that it becomes, the, the idea of separating from it is just, it's almost to the point where it's just pure, just, they just can't handle it. Let's just put it that way. 
So what I have to do is kind of analyze their situation and tell them, hey, look, you know, here's the pros of, of short selling. I know that you don't necessarily want to do it. Now, one of the pros of short selling is that a lot of lenders now give incentives for people to short sell. Um, you know, they have the Hoffa program, which gives up to $10,000 for relocation assistance. And that's a, that's a pretty good amount of money. So some of these people can either ride it out and stress themselves out and hope that, you know, that in the end that some miracle will happen or that the foreclosure takes place, but they kind of walk away from some money. Um, so that's one of the things. Another thing it does is preserve your credit and future ability to purchase a home. Some people are actually have really good financials. They, 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 in other words, if they were current, they might even be able to refinance or they, if they didn't own this house, they could probably buy another one. They got good solid W-2 income. They just happened to get in this situation because either maybe they had a job loss three or four years ago and they got way behind and couldn't catch up or you know something happened in their life uh, that was traumatic that may be over with now. But some of these people have you know the financials and you know to be able to maybe purchase a house uh, in the future. So short selling your house allows that. If you are, for example, if you're a veteran and you have a VA loan or you have VA eligibility, it might be possible for you to short sell your house and within 12 months you could maybe purchase another one. I've helped people do that before, uh, where they've short sold their house. 12 months later, they go and they buy another house, and that's great. If, you're, if you don't have VA or VA eligibility, you might have to wait a little bit longer, but the waiting period is shorter if you short sell your house than if you let it go to foreclosure. So avoiding foreclosure should be a big priority. Another advantage of it is you can resolve junior liens. So a lot of times you're, you have other liens on your house. You might have um, you know, another loan, a second loan. You might have you know, HOA liens. You might have judgment liens from creditors. Well, short selling your house allows you a very inexpensive way to try to resolve all of those liens. A lot of times we can get the lenders to, to pay the cost to release those liens and negotiate settlements. So it allows you to kind of clean up a lot of messes. Another thing it allows you to do is take control of chaos. A lot of times people who are in this situation, they're just literally in a, in a chaotic state. They don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know, um, you know, what's going to, you know, anything about, uh, you know, the situation. And there's just so many unknowns, it really affects them. And so, you know, short selling your house allows you to take control of chaos and put a timeline in place about when you're going to be soft landing your exit. You know, and that's what I tell people. It's like, you know, you've got to take control of it. Otherwise, you don't know, and it's going to really affect you in so many different ways. You're listening to The Michael Gatta Show on AM 1170, The Answer, and we're talking about short sales. So, you know, taking control of chaos is a really important thing. Um, and, I, and I know, and they're not easy now. Let me just tell you, they're not easy. Short sales are very difficult. They're very time-consuming. And a lot of times, because of appreciating property values, value disputes with banks are huge problems now. We're constantly combating the banks on values. It, it's, it's a very exhausting endeavor. A lot of times people ask me, well, what's the time period for short sales? How long does it take from beginning to end to short sell my house? Well, I will tell you that on average it takes three, probably three months to six months on average. Probably you should expect about four. Um, because it depends on your, there's so many different factors that go into it. You know, it, how many liens do you have? Who's your lender? You know, what's your loan balance? How much is your delinquency? Um, you know, there's just so many factors that go into, you know, the complexity of negotiating a short sale. It is, it, that's why a lot of real estate professionals do not do them anymore. They're just too much work. And the money they get is about the same they get on a normal sale, except they work a hundred times more. And it is exhausting, and it is difficult. And that's why if you are in a situation, or someone you know or love is in a situation where they have to you know, uh, liquidate their home or don't know what to do, you've got to find somebody who really knows what they're talking about because otherwise it's, just, it's not going to end up well. I mean, I get calls all the time from people who are in distress and they just don't know what to do. And they've, they've chased these, these leprechauns and unicorns to the point where they finally realize they're not real, and by then, the banks are bearing down on them, and it's just a huge, huge mess. So the key is, is find someone that you, that you trust and, and get some good guidance. Like for me, at my, my office, I tell people I'm your guide through chaos. This is the world that I live in. I, the world you're in is the world I live in. I know this world. 
and I know how to get you out of it. So my goal is to try to get you out of it as easily as possible. So um, that's about it for today. I want to thank everyone for listening to the Michael Gaddis Show today. And uh, I'll tell you, I can't wait till next week. It really, uh, I missed you all last week when I wasn't here, and uh, I can't wait till next week. So you're listening to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM, AM 1170. I'm here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. If you guys need to get a hold of me, you can uh, you know, contact my office at 760-692-5950. Or you can email me at michael and michaelgaddis.com. I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you again next week.